Hi humanity, welcome to Your Soul Emergence. I am your host, Chloe. And we're gonna be talking about how the polarity of the duality between masculine and feminine energy has been imbalanced. And that is why in 2020, we are seeing so many issues emerging. These issues range from the environment our earth is in, the issues that we're having with world news between homo sapiens between each other, the issues that we're having within ourselves, our inner peace, with having burnouts and feeling overwhelmed because we are not in our own duality. The issues that we're having, especially in the workplace for women who are imbalanced between their masculine and feminine. And so women are not having issues at work and then back at home. But it also crosses over into love, romance, and dating and not being able to be imbalanced. So if you want inner peace, you want world peace, and you want to achieve tikkun olam for the entire universe at large, then learning about masculine and feminine energy is the key to making that happen. So, the world itself was developed by the creed of the universe. The creed of the universe is not masculine and it's not feminine. The creed of the universe is androgynous, but there is masculine and feminine aspects to this creator. What has happened is religion has taken over in such a way that it has portrayed the creed of the universe to be male. This is incorrect. In the Torah and the Bible, or whatever you want to call it, there has been many, many stories of how the creed of the universe is both masculine and both feminine. You can see this as well in the yin yang theory in Taoism, as well as Shakti and Shiva. So it is a very ancient thought process that the universe and the creator of the universe has been created through masculine and feminine energy. I believe because religion has very much diminished and downplayed the role of the feminine in the relation of the universe, it has created this imbalance. Maybe over the course of civilization, from the beginning of time to now, we needed more masculine essential characteristics in order to get us through killing off saber-toothed tigers, agricultural, civilization, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, we don't need that anymore, which is why now we have more of an emergence of non-binary relationships than people, transgender. We have more of a, we have more females in the workplace than ever, but we don't know how to balance it out. And that's why a lot of the women in the workplace are having such a hard time as well as the, their male counterparts dealing with them. It's, it's a really big issue as well as it's an issue with dating. Let's go back to the beginning of time. In Kabbalah, the creator of the universe was called Ensof. Ensof means there is no beginning. And there's no beginning and there's no end. Ensof is infinity. And Ensof wanted to create the universe and sent out Shekhinah. Shekhinah is the feminine aspect that went out into the world in a very passive, non-intrusive, non-aggressive, non-judgmental, very accepting and loving way. Went out into the universe to scan and see what's available for creation because the feminine also creates, right? Okay, so Shekhinah went out to see what was out there and turned to Ensof and said, I need a male counterpart. I am feeling lonely. So Ensof said to her, what are you going to do about it? Do you notice how Ensof, which is more of the masculine, didn't give Shekhinah the solution and the answer, but allowed Shekhinah to come up with the answer herself? Because the true masculine allows the feminine to create because he understands that the woman is the creator. The feminine aspect is the creator, not just the woman. The feminine aspect is the creator, but many women that have menstrual cycles and ovaries are creators as well because we do create life. So Shekhina then sent out into the universe something called desire. Her desire was a very non-judgmental, open-minded feeling of what was to be created. And this is actually the key to manifestation. So she sent out into the universe everything that she wanted to create and called into herself the masculine energy, basically called into her vessel the masculine energy, the masculine energy came to her. And as the story goes, their third eyes touched and they created the, the stars, the planets and the universe. Henceforth, the universe is the feminine. Based on this thought process, 
the earth and the universe is feminine, the multiverse is masculine, but in order for us to reconnect with the masculine, we need to balance out our own feminine energy on earth. But the problem is, is that our earth is so masculine driven, and a lot of people will say patriarchal, uh, it's very difficult for us to have that duality be balanced because we are not balanced ourselves. So the answer is, is that we need to bring out the feminine, but that does not mean that we need to take over. We don't need to create the same thing that they created. And by they, I mean the masculine energy. We do not need to fight for, to become more masculine. We need to fight for the balance between the two, which is what we're going to get into over the course of the series. It is very different than what just a lot of um, feminists are saying today, which is a lot of it is very incorrect because it will create an imbalance in the feminine direction, which we don't need. We need to have a balance between the feminine and the masculine. So now we understand that the universe was created on this duality. Now we understand that the polarity of this duality is imbalanced and we need to balance it out. So how do we do that? The first step is to start with ourselves. So it's very feminine to go inward. So we go inside of ourselves and see what is our leading essence, right? Are we more masculine or are we more feminine? We understand what our leading essence is. We learn how to balance our essence. And once we balance it within ourselves, then we can start balancing it in relation to the people around us. In the next episode, we're going to find out what our leading essence is, tips and tricks on how to balance it out, and understanding the difference between static and dynamic balance and tricks accordingly to what that is all about, clue, sacred geometry, and engaging accordingly. Thank you for watching this series. I hope it's been helpful so far. Please subscribe if you do. I'll be able to really continue to make content. And please say if please like or dislike this video. I'm okay if you dislike it. Just leave a comment and tell me what you didn't like about it so I can know for next time. In addition, I'm very curious to hear what is your experience with masculine feminine energy. And please, this is a great time to put all your questions about it. I'm going to be covering workplace, dating, which I know a lot of people have been asking about. So put your questions below so that I can address them down the line of this series. Looking forward to our next episode.